OK, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to combine multiple rows in a single cell. I'm going to show you two methods you can use to achieve this. The difference between the two methods is that the first method doesn't require a formula, but the second method does. OK, let's look at the first method. The first step is to widen the column that currently contains the values that you want to combine in one cell. And this column needs to be wide enough to contain all of the values in a single cell. Now, once you've done that, select all of the values that you want to combine. Then on the Home tab of your ribbon, go over to this button, the Fill button. Click on it and then select Justify. And all of the values are combined in one cell. And you'll see that each value is separated with a space. Now, to do this with a formula, you can use the text join function. And the text join function is available in Excel 365. Now what we would do here is write a formula adjacent to our values using the text join function. And the first argument is delimiter. So that's the character that you want to separate each of these items with. So we'll say our delimiter is a space. And the space needs to go in speech marks. Then I put in a comma, and it asks me what I want to do with empty cells, if there was empty cells in this list. Now, we don't have any empty cells, but if there were empty cells, I'd want to ignore them. So I'm going to select True. Then I just need to select the items that I want to combine in one cell, close the bracket and press Enter, and then the values appear together in that cell. Now, if you wanted to separate the values with a space and a comma, then I just need to add a comma between those speech marks. If I press Enter, you can see that it's applied that edit. OK, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Thanks very much for watching. If you found it useful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.